I predict that the two denominational groups, Pentecostal and the evangelical groups, will work together in a denomination, will unite themselves together, and will become a member, all of them, of the Federation of the Council Churches, or the Council Churches. They already belong to it, all of them. And there will come through them a forcing or a boycott that will stop everything but what belongs to that union of churches. That's what a, the Bible said, that there would be a boycott. Even in such a way would cause people to not by ourselves, unless they had received this, the mark of the beast, which is Romanism, and the image of the beast, which is Protestantism, that the image of the beast had power, authority to give the image life to speak, and it did. And that's the confederation of churches, when they confederate themselves together. Do not let this word ever depart from your ears, from your heart. Just remember, I speak in the name of the Lord. When Daniel had been given the vision that the days of his people were over uh, for a certain time, and he seen the Gentiles coming in and saw the vision, of this great big stone here, of this great big image, had a head of gold. Now what's happened, the head of gold was Nebuchadnezzar, which he determined it. Said another king shall come and be inferior to thee, which was dry, that's the Meso-Persian, taking the Gentile kingdom over. Next come in after the Meso-Persians, was what? The Greeks, Alexander the Great and so forth, the Grecians took that kingdom over. Then what took it over from the Greeks? The Romans. And who's ruled the Gentile world ever since? Romans. Amen. Amen. Romans. Right. Now that was iron. Then notice, Rome exists to the end because it went to the end of the toes. And you've seen mud, clay, and that's people, what we're made out of, and iron, the strength of Rome running every one of those nations. And Rome has strength in every nation under heaven. There's one man in the world can stop a war or begin a war without me saying one word. That's the Pope. What so he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness and I saw a woman, church, setting up on a scarlet colored beast, scarlet colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. Seven heads. On down here said the seven heads, which was on the beast, is seven hills on which the, the city set up. Now what city is built on seven hills? Rome. Exactly. A city setting on seven hills, a church, a woman, a prostitute that will control the world with her power. Well, it's just as plain as reading the newspaper. Amen. Now, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet colors. The woman, the church, rich, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. Tell me what one of them ever paid income tax. And the beast that thou sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit, and shall go into perdition. And they that dwell upon the earth shall wonder whose names are not written in the book of life of a life from the foundation of the world, when they beheld the beast which was, which is not, and which yet is. See, was, one pole, dies, another one, ascends. Beast which was, which is not, which is, which is not, which is, don't change its order, oh, same time, everything. Everything has to go in the same system. And it shall come over to the bottomless pits. And the Bible said here that the leader of these fellows was from the bottomless pits, and that was their king, and he said for the triple ground and join the thousands with him. Now he gets into a place that he's going to make a universal church power. Taking religious power. Now, we find out he unites his power. Then when he becomes both state and church, the ecclesiastical, then what are you going to do? He forms his own religion. And now he can do whatever he wants to. Then he has the right to put to death whosoever will not agree with him. 
That's exactly what he did too. Satan was kicked out of heaven. And he come down according to the scriptures and enthroned himself. And he had power, supreme power like that he done all the miracles and everything that that uh, the uh, killings and bloody fights and everything that that Rome could produce. He killed by cruel Roman punishment. Remember, Jesus Christ died under the punishment of Rome. Amen. Capital punishment. They admit 68 million on the martyrology besides all those put to death outside of that. Oh, mercy. During the dark ages, there were millions fed the lines and slaughter in every way because they wouldn't bow down to that Catholic dogma. You know that. Notice his plans to build a super denominational church, the World Council of Churches, okay? a super denomination, so that all the world will worship him, the beast. Under the name of United Christianity. Would you like to read that in the Bible? Revelation 13, 6 and 8. It's a modern Tower of Babel. Don't you remember how that Nimrod, the hypocrite, built this big tower and made all the other little cities pay tribute to it? Babel and Babel is the same thing. It just changes its names and as it comes on up, it's Rome now is Babylon. And the whole world is brought to Babylon. And it's brought in by the World Council of Churches, which will make every one of them bow to her. And you took the mark of the beast not knowing what you were doing. Because, but those who are elected will hear the word and come out of it. It'll come a time where you'll either belong to an organization or you can't keep your door open. Right. Now you see if that isn't true. It's the reason we pound it to death. Yes, sir. You and him, Lord, and that, they'll try to seek you so bad till they try to, won't let you buy or sell us. You've got that organization mark on you. It brings it right in. Just exactly like that. They, they burn them. They, I stood there in that arena and wept like a baby when I look up there where the gladiators would sit in that old uh, arena there and, and see them things and know that many of my Christian brethren was eaten by lions and, and tore to pieces on the ground there and women and little children and things. And I think if they all went down in faith, would I let them down now? No, sir, brother. God, let me stand for the faith that was once delivered to the saints. That same thing, no matter how unpopular. got off of the plane in India, our last trip there, I was looking at a, a paper that the brought was, and it said, the earthquake must be over, the birds are coming back, then it gave the details, they, they, something funny happened, uh, India don't have uh, woven fences like we do, they pick up rocks and make their fences. And they build all their houses out of rock, just place them up there, it's warm there, around oh, any, uh, where, pretty near in India, let's get up in the mountains. And all at once something began to happen. The little birds, you know, go into those rocks and they build their nests and raise their young ones. And something began to happen. Every day when it would get hot, all the cattle will come around and stand under the shadow of those walls, keep cool. And all the little birds live in those places. And all of a sudden, all them little birds, for some unknown reason, they all took off. 
and they went out and didn't come back to their nest. They went out in the field and they set the trees wherever they could get, right out on the ground. The cattle wouldn't come around. The sheep wouldn't come around. They stayed right in the field and hugged up against one another. It's a good way to do it. They knew that something was going to happen. Then all of a sudden, an earthquake took place and shook the walls down, the fences down, and everything else. Then the little birds began to come back. They didn't come back for three or four days, then began to come back. They said, well, the earthquakes must be over now. The birds are coming back. Why? Don't you believe that the same God that could make them birds and cattle and sheep in the days of Noah go into the ark? He's still the same God that can make them fly to safety? Is that right? Now let me say something, brother. There's something fixing to happen. And all these big old ecclesiastical walls are going to collapse. Yeah. And go right back over here and agree because they're going to do it as certain as I'm standing here. Listen, when you feel that little funny feeling, you get away from them walls. Get away, you'll die out of there. Don't do it. Come out of it. Get away from all this stuff. Leave the safety as quick as you can. Ask God for mercy. I don't care how simple and humble it seems. It's a word of the Lord. You flee to Jesus Christ just as quick as you can. And stay there until God fills you with His Holy Spirit. For the hour is going to come when you're going to hunt for it. And it won't be there. So be sure to do it. 